We're gonna have to have a tow truck on deck. <laughs> Tailwind, you got the theme music on deck? That don't sound plant-based right there. Is that plant-based? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, hold on. All right, okay, that might be. You know what I gotta do though, right? <laughs> it's not official if you don't do that. Black Market is open. Welcome to the Black Market. 85 South Show presents. And today, we got a very special guest with us. People keep asking me about, you know, what am I going to do for the health conscious community? Well, this today, I'm doing my part. We got the owners of the plant-based piece of real in here with us today. <laughs> Introduce yourself to the 85 percenters. My name is Paul. And this my guy, Blizz. That sound like some robbers right there. <laughs> oh, the Blizz ran up in there, guns blazing. And we are the owners of Plant Based Pizzeria. Nah, that's dope. How did y'all come up with that, that concept? Uh, it really started off, my um, mother had passed from cancer. And throughout her struggle, I learned of uh, Dr. Dr. Sabi. And just watching a lot of his YouTubes and things, I realized that a lot of the foods are causing cancer. So I really got on the research trying to heal her naturally and then I actually moved from Indianapolis down here once she passed and just got on the search for an actual location and opened up a plant-based style uh, restaurant. That's dope. That's a pizza all, pizza that's was, was, was right one now. of the thoughts that we didn't have. You know a lot of places you go get pizza you have to take the cheese off and can't really get no meats because a lot of the places don't carry the little vegan vegan meats. Yeah. So, Figured we needed to create our own thing. I love it. We're taking over all industries, from the top to the bottom. Plants, plant-based. Just going back natural, man. That's what's up. So how's it been? How's this journey been? You know, going uh, it's, from a from it's started idea off great, to man. Thing. Uh, the first day we had a line, and it's been nonstop since the first day. We opened back in uh, January of 2019. Word. It's definitely life changing though. For me, like I tore my meniscus after playing ball and I gained like, you know, I sat around ordering a bunch of bad food for months, gained like 25, 30 pounds. Damn. And then I went vegan, dropped it all, felt like I was 10 years younger. Like it just, it, it definitely changed your life. I mean, in the beginning, you, you try to find what's good and what's not good. I wasted a lot of money, threw a lot of stuff away. But then, you know, along the journey, I found what was right as far as the cheese and the meats and stuff like that. And it just, it definitely changed my life. Life changer. That's Spikes. dope, man. What's, what's your favorite plant-based pizza set up? Like if you had to pull one out of off the menu, what's what's your that I could eat every day? Yeah. I'd say the Georgia peach. What's on that? Peaches. <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> it's, it's got peaches, jalapenos, or roasted peaches, jalapenos, red onions, mm -hmm. and the Beyond sausage. <laughs> These names still gonna take some getting used to. Yeah, yeah. We should have brought one with, with us, but we we definitely swing back down on you with a couple of them. So you haven't tried it at all? Nothing I vegan. I can nothing. give you an unbiased opinion. Yeah. Yeah. We'll definitely send. It's your back. fault though, cause you you know where I'm at. I do. You know where I've been. You know I'm in here late night. I need food. We got you. Come on, man. Say less. We you should have been slip that on me. Like, oh, that's the one he done with the eye. Oh, that's the vegan one. I ain't even know. <laughs> we definitely get a lot of people that aren't plant-based, and they can't even tell the difference. Hey, man, that means you got a good product. Yeah. That's what's up. So it's like, this is the whole lifestyle, right? It the is. whole plant-based. Definitely a lifestyle. Cause then, and then people ask, well, do you have a cheat day? How can you have a cheat day of being vegan? I could see if I was just on a regular diet and said, hey, I'm just not gonna eat beef for a while for whatever, but if you're vegan, 
I'm only cheating myself. You right. know, like yeah. if I'm high, if I go and drink some milk or I do whatever, you know, I just, no, yeah, I'm not you, doing that. Yeah, you're going to definitely regret that shit if you do. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. It's whole definitely stomach will. tore up. Whole body. Feet might swell up. <laughs> Ain't no telling. Man. Yeah, it's been five years strong, so. Five years. Five years. Damn. Damn. You wish you would have did this shit earlier? Facts. Definitely do. Paul, you playing bass too, man? Yeah, since 2015. Committed. Yeah. What was the hardest food to give up? Whew. The hardest food, I'd probably say pork, bacon. Boy, that bacon can't do no wrong. Bacon serious. <laughs> For me, it was chicken, like jerk chicken. That was the hardest. That's what I missed the most. You eating plant-based chicken now? Yeah. Is it hitting the same? No. <laughs> 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 definitely not I keep it real. No, it is not. It's, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good. It took a minute to get used to it. And, I, you know, I definitely wouldn't go back to eating chicken, like I said, but nah, it doesn't hit like real chicken. Well, you got out early then, because this is a chicken shortage right now. Might have to go all be plant based in a minute. Oh, that'd be a good thing. <laughs> yeah, your business is going to be booming, man, especially like in Atlanta. Who knew that? that the plant-based food would, would like be doing numbers like this. That's crazy. Like you said, we have people that come in that aren't even vegan, and they right. love it. Because we have a lot more than just pizza. You know, we have the tacos, the burgers, we do the soul food Sundays, the mac and cheese, the- Vegan uh, soul food. Yeah, vegan soul food. Mm -hmm. Damn. Meatloaf, everything. Meatloaf? Yeah. So come <laughs> out to the Sandy Springs location for a soul food Sunday, I'm telling you. Bring everybody. We got breakfast, spelt pancakes. Mm -hmm. Eggs, scrambled eggs. Bro, y'all playing, bro. Nah, See, that's you. the one thing I don't get about vegan people. Y'all want to eat plant-based food, but all the food you want it to look like meat. <laughs> Which one that's is it? That's what we was brought up Man, on. Man, it got yeah. sausage that ain't sausage. Well, don't eat it. No, just fuck this. <laughs> nah, have your shit. Yeah. I'm going to come out there and check y'all out, man. I didn't. I was waiting on my personal invite. You just got it. Pull up on a Sunday morning. So I take them to the brunch, though, the mimosas. Because I'm still going to be eating my regular shit, too, now. I'm not converting. That's OK. I'm just coming out there to support y'all. Take but it then slow. We, take it slow. Yeah. Don't but then when you convert, to, you'll thank us, though. I'm just saying. It'll all come back to this date. Take me slow. I ain't, I ain't ready for nothing yet. I'm good. <laughs> I don't eat but a handful of foods anyway. So just bring you a plain cheese? Grill cheese me out first. Nah, pizza. Just cheese. a plain cheese pizza. I bet. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. That'll work. Then we can start walking up through there. The different toppings. Yeah. What are some of the other options that you got up there? Like you were talking about the soul food and all that. Yeah, the soul food Sundays. You know, we have the Beyond Burger. We just, we're about to introduce the Impossible Burger. We have chicken sandwiches, the tacos. Uh, we do pasta, baked spaghetti. Baked mac and cheese. We do the collard greens, which that's universal. But yeah, we definitely get into the the whole aspect of everything. We don't want to offer just one thing. We really want to just kind of cater to everybody. Yeah. And if you're not, we want people who are vegan, vegetarian, for whatever it is. If you want to eat healthy, then come check us out. Healthy, better, all yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Hell, we yeah. want to be the one-stop shop for everybody. That's what's up, man. What's the IG and all that? Plant-based pizzeria. And where y'all located at? Well, we got one in Midtown right off of uh, Ponce de Leon and Barnett Street. It's a great spot for it. Yep, and it's a carry out only. And then we have our full dine in location in Sandy Springs off of uh, Roswell Road. Y'all expanding it all? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Franchises, all kind of stuff coming soon. We have a vegan lounge coming up. What Can't is really what say is where it, it what is. What is the vegan lounge? It's, it's on the way. It'll be done in probably 90 days or less. So you're just going to be lounging around on like. There the are vegan no vegan leather. lounges in, in <laughs> Atlanta that I know of. I ain't never even heard of that. Yeah. What is a vegan lounge? Just a, a lounge that where people can come and you can eat healthy, but you can still smoke a hookah. You can still get your drinks. You can still chill. You know, just some well, grown and sexy shit. you plant-based clubbing in this. <laughs> For real? Yeah. yeah. Bro, y'all taking shit too far, bro. <laughs> y'all taking this way too far. All the way, as far as we can. Definitely. I can dig it, though. Yeah, yeah. She don't eat a lot of stuff. I think she vegan, too. Vegan? Vegan-ish. Okay. What's yeah, up? she be doing her thing. She be on there cooking late night. You feel better? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's really calmed her mood. She used to be crazy as hell. <laughs> she still is, but it, now it's more like nonverbal. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just the looks. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the ones you got to watch out for. Them. Hell yeah. At least the verbal, you know what's coming. Right. Yeah. Liz, where you from? Originally? Yeah. I grew up in New Jersey. Jersey. Puerto Rico. I moved here when I was seven. What part of Puerto Rico? San Juan. Well, actually, I was born in Old San Juan, which is right next door. So. I've been there. Yeah. I've been to San Juan, man. See, I love somebody it. in your position, you probably stayed at Condado Beach, right? I was on that beach. I know. I you watched were. the dope ass thunderstorm on the beach. Yeah. It was just like. It's it was known a, for that. It, it was just right there. It didn't even really. Yeah. I was drunk, though. I ain't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just got drunk as hell in Puerto Rico at the strip club. Yeah. And walked around all the places I shouldn't have been walking around to. Best places to go? Yeah, man. And then I was. I guess I'm just so ignorant from being in America so long. You see a lot of regular looking black people like you think they tourists like you, and then you go talk to them, they're like, what? Puerto Rican. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how it is. Felt like an outside. I was all in Burger King pointing at my shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I had a ball over there, though. Yeah. But what was what was it like transitioning down here to Atlanta since y'all both transplants and you know from other places? I mean the weather. I'm just definitely. the whole experience, like the atmosphere of Atlanta. I always ask people who are not from Atlanta, like who live. I think here, it was. What was the attraction? We've been coming since like Freaknik days. Oh hell, you got great memories here. Yeah. Then. yeah. So it was <laughs> like a every other weekend type trip for us from uh, Naptown. Yeah. It's like an eight hour drive, so we always used to bring the cars down, hang out. I tell people all the time, bro, every black man in America over a certain age has a I lived in Atlanta store. I mean, there's no place like it, especially when it comes to business yeah. for minorities. I've never, you know, I've been to a lot of places and I've never seen a place like Atlanta to where you can, you know, be black and, and be so successful and have so many people around you that are successful. Don't, I mean, we all know it comes with the bullshit, but right. you know, you, there's things that you can do in Atlanta that you can't pull off in Should you see in Atlanta, Jersey. you would never see. Yeah. You see the fire truck pull out the firehouse, 12 black fire fighters jump off that bitch. Yeah, you're not seeing that anywhere else? Hell no. No, definitely not. I love it here. How long you been home? Here? I've been here for 16 years, okay. 17 almost. Yeah. That's dope. I ain't never leaving. I'm right with you. This is it. I'll go explore. I'm coming, coming back. back. It yeah. I, anywhere <laughs> I go, longer than three days, I'm ready to get back to Atlanta. Three days is my limit. Yeah. Seems like all those weekends you're not here, those be the best weekends. Everybody go outside. Yeah. It's beautiful weather. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing, too, just the weather. Like, I was, you know, this little snowstorm that was supposed to shut the city down a couple days ago, like, I'm looking at it like, where I come from, that shit is up to your knees. Like, you got to shovel your so car out and moving. shit. Like, and we still going out. Exactly. But in Atlanta, they don't move. If it's raining, they're not coming. Like, you got a show, it's definitely going to kill your ticket sales yeah. if it's raining. And if it just, I mean, if it's too cold, they cancel in school. I remember going to school, and you couldn't see the bus until they got, like, right where the light is at. Damn. Yeah, but here, they cancel school for anything. If they cancel school, if they hear it's gonna snow, it could be a rumor. <laughs> <laughs> you you remember those like those yeah. panic games days? Like man, it's supposed to snow. Yeah. Man, these motherfuckers will empty a Walmart off a rumor. Yeah. They did it last with week. With the sun they out. Did. You remember when they left the cars on 400 a few years ago? State they, of emergency. They have no choice. Though. This they much would, snow. On they were not set up for this, bro. Crazy. It was like an apocalypse. I'm looking on the news and this car, abandoned cars everywhere. Like people actually died in that. That's crazy. What, That's from sitting in their car too long? Yes. <laughs> Motherfucker froze. That's crazy. I do I remember mean, that. How you gonna get out? Hey man, come get me. Where am I? Where are you? Oh, I'm, I'm up 400. <laughs> in traffic? Yeah, traffic still fucked up, man. <laughs> hey, hey, come walk down to the exit. I get you. <laughs> Crazy man, it is. You just you like, but you being from Jersey, you know how to handle that, man. Yeah, all day. I'm I would've been making back, so but... much money with my truck. I've been pulling people out. Yeah, I would've, but I wasn't here. I missed it. That's the game, though. It is. But look, man, wish y'all much success with the plant-based pizza real. Definitely appreciate you having us on. Soul Food Sunday, yeah. Burgers and all that, tacos. 
Drop the social media one more time, man. Let them know where to find y'all. Plant-based pizzeria. Well, look, this y'all first time here, but don't let it be the last time. Well, mm. We're going to definitely pull up with Brian, let's throw a plant-based pizza party, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bet. We'll get some vegan strippers. <laughs> we got a few that come into the spot on a regular go. basis. Yeah. For real? yeah. Plug me in. They come in for the burgers and everything. Like, I'm like, wait a minute, I saw you in. Ah, okay. Well, I know my guy Ryan. He he's a frequent of y'all food, man. He all on the page and everything, yeah. smiling. He's a big foodie. He used to be fat. <laughs> he not talk about you like that, right? He got Why the gastric you? bypass. <laughs> I feel like you still should be able to call me and fat. Like without yeah. no issue. Without yeah. issues, yeah. Females? No, nah, no. Nah, I mean, it's rude to call a lady fat, but you can call a dude fat. Especially if he's like a... Cause like every neighborhood got like the fat dude. Oh, every single one. And there's always big somebody. Hey, man, go get big Kerry, big Poncho. Mm -hmm. Go get big Steve. <laughs> go get big black, yeah. 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 Bro, what big Paul at? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, shit. We appreciate y'all stopping through here, man, and letting everybody know that the black market is still alive. <laughs> we have things for sale. <laughs>